Today we are going to create this hand spray paint reveal in After Effects. You can use it to reveal any kind of logo or text whatever you want. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, start from After Effects and in order to create this animation, we are going to use a couple of these things. So I will put a link in the description from where you can download them. So first is this spray paint hand. So just download this image and you can use any AI background remover and it will get rid of all of this background except this hand and also you can download this image texture this wall texture and a paint splash like this so just import them in after effects and you are ready to go so here i have this hand it has no background again you can use the ai you can use photoshop or whatever you want you can also use after effects like the roto brush to roto out this hand only so once you're done with this just import them in after effects and we will begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok let's create one more composition for our text and it's up to you you can use text logo whatever you want it's completely up to you let's select this text tool and i'm going to quickly type my text i'm going to type spray and let's select this Let's press S and I'm using this splash bleeding font. It's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. And let's give it a nice angle. Maybe let's align it to the center and let's make it a little bit big. And I think this looks good. Perfect. So once you're happy with this, we can go back to the main comp. Let's quickly drag the background for the animation. Let's scale this up a little bit like that. Now let's drag the text which we have over here. Perfect. And on top of this, let's apply a fill effect because we want a particular color. And let's drag it onto this. Now it's up to you. You can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to pick like a little bit of this red, dark red sort of color. Also, I don't want the background to have any color. So I'm going to apply tint or you can use a better effect called tritone. It basically gives us three values which we can use highlight shadows and midtones and for the midtones we can if you want you can have like color as well but i'm going to use like this black and white sort of thing perfect let's apply curves as well and let's drag it onto this let's make it a little bit bright and let's add some details to it perfect looks good now once you're happy with this we can import our hand as well so let's drag it onto this so here we have this hand and we are going to do the same thing so i'm going to just simply copy them and just paste them onto this hand perfect now we can play around with this so let's just make it a little bit like that yeah, i think this looks good perfect so here we have our hand now we can play with the hand later on so first we have to like animate this text so the animation is quite easy all we have to do is let's select this and i'm going to first let's apply some effect so let's apply rough and edges let's drag it onto this text and if i zoom in already you can see the edges are a lot of like this then we can decrease the scale so instead of 100 we can like make it one and let's play around with the border so you can like make it something around this we can increase the sharpness something like that so i think this looks good now in order to make this actually look like a spray paint then we can set this to dissolve now if i select this press t we can lower down the opacity now you can see that it will give us this spray paint sort of effect so we don't want to overdo it so just set this to 90 or maybe 95 looks good perfect so now it is looking like a spray paint and if you're happy with this you can leave it over here if you want you can play around with this these settings as well but i think this looks good to me complexity let's increase this up so here we have our spray paint now our next step is to animate this out so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so the animation is also quite easy all you have to do is just select the pen tool make sure that this layer is selected and we are going to basically draw a rough mask just around this text so you don't have to be very precise just do it very roughly and i'm going to trace the full thing so let's trace the p make sure that it is connected and it is applying on the single layer so here we have everything now in order to make this appear we can apply stroke 
let's search for generate stroke and let's drag it onto this i'm going to make sure that this mask is selected and i'm going to increase the size now you can see that it will create this and our main goal is to make sure that everything is covered up so just play around with this and move a couple of these points so that the background is not visible or the red text is not visible at all so once i'm happy with this we can animate it by simply using this end property so i'm going to set this to zero in the beginning let's add a keyframe let's go to somewhere around four seconds and i'm going to set this to 100 maybe in the beginning we can set this to zero so now if i press play we have this spray paint now we can select the keyframes let's press u select the keyframes to ease them and also we can change one more thing let's set this to reveal original image so this way it will start revealing our text like that now we are pretty much done with this now our next step is to make our hand follow this so which is also very easy so all we have to do is let's select this press m so we have this mask now we can create a null object so let's right click new let's add a null object and we're basically going to parent this null so that it follows this path so all we have to do is just simply select this path and copy it by pressing ctrl c then go to the very beginning let's press p for position let's select this position and press ctrl v now it will add these keyframes so that this null will completely follow this path now let's select this press u and we can select the end keyframe and just move it to the end point so that all of them are moving at a similar pace now once you're done with this our next step is to like just parent our hand so for that let's select this hand and i'm going to enable this now i'm going to pick a point so somewhere around here you can see we have our spray paint so i can just simply select my hand now you will notice one more thing that this null object is moving ahead of our spray so for that we can just simply set these to linear so just simply click on them hold on the control key and click on them to make these linear we don't want to ease them so once we're done with this we can just pick a point something like that now let's select this hand and i'm going to just place it around here now let's select this and we can parent it to the null like that now if i press play you can see that our hand will start following this null path now at some points you can see we are able to see the background so for that what we can do is we can just simply select this and let's just place it over here let's press s and i'm going to scale it from that point so now we won't be able to see it perfect now if you want to increase the speed then you can make these closer and make sure to, to do it over here as well so now here we have our reveal i want to enhance this more we can do one more thing let's right click and i'm going to add an adjustment layer and on top of this let's apply posturize time effect let's drag it onto this and i'm going to change the frame rate to let's say 12 and now if i press play you can see we have the stop motion kind of effect and our spray paint is like typing out now we don't want to see the hand beforehand so what we can do is we can select all of these layers and let's just move them ahead let's select this hand and let's extend it and i'm going to animate its position as well so at this point we want it over here but in the beginning we can just simply move it down below so that it will come in mm, let's make the adjustment layer in the beginning as well so it will come in and it will start spray painting and after that it will go down back to its original position like this so here we have this hand coming in and then it will paint and then it will go up perfect now let's add some more details to this so for that we can use this splash as well so let's drag it over here and i'm going to quickly copy the these effects let's select these two let's copy them and just paste them onto this splash now i'm going to change the mode to dissolve and let's press t and let's drop down its value as well perfect let's press r and i'm going to just rotate it out and it's quite big so i'm going to like make it smaller now our next step is to just place it wherever you want the splash to be so i want it like somewhere around here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this splash and let's just place it if you want you can change the color for now just to see what you are doing and let's press r let's rotate it play around with this size just to match it and i think this 
looks good to me so once you're happy with this we can just simply select the pen tool and you can just draw it over this r like that so once you're happy with this we can change the color back to the original one just copy it and paste it onto this perfect so here we have our splash now all we have to do is just play around with its timing so let's just increase this up and i think this this is not looking good so we can like cut it out perfect so here we have the splash now let's play around with its timing so we are painting our around here so let's just select this splash and i'm going to like add it like that perfect so in the same way you can have the splash like at different points so we have added it over the r now let's add some dripping paint as well it's actually quite easy let's select the pen tool and we are going to draw a very rough shape of a dripping paint so i'm going to just simply click and drag and let's so this is our dripping paint now again we are going to just copy and paste these two effects and let's set the mode to dissolve and let's set the transparency to 91 as well so here we have this spray paint or the drop and we can make it come from the s only so let's place it and let's play around with its timing so somewhere around here we can make it start so let's press p for position and let's just make it up like this and let's go a little bit ahead and we can make it down press f9 to ease them so here you can see we have this spray paint so that the paint will drip slowly maybe let's move it a little bit up so here is our final animation if i press play we have this spray paint typing effect and we have some dripping as well now you can just simply copy and paste it at a bunch of different locations and you can have these splashes here and there to really make it stand out so in this way you can create these kind of animations so if you want you can change the text as well so just go here and just change the text and after that create a, again create the rough mask and then copy and paste it on to this null as well so the hand will follow it completely so this is how you can create these kind of spray paint effect and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,